And welcome back, everybody. Paul Doherty for the NCCU Sports Network as the Eagles postgame report brought to you by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina continues. And we're joined now by Lady Eagles head coach Jolie Robinson. Coach, uh, a tough loss tonight. Yes, it was. It was a very tough lo loss for us tonight. Um, I think it was a mental breakdown. You talk about doing our NCCU defense. We had some things that did not occur that should have occurred during the course of the game. And when you can't uh, recoup from your mental toughness that you need to have, these, these are the outcomes of the games for you. Well, you know, we, um, as we kind of scouted the two teams, obviously North Carolina Central is a young team. You're trying to get some chemistry. You're trying to work some veterans back in that didn't play last year in uh, Jory and uh, Chastity Williams, but also some freshmen, you know, into the, into the uh, starting and, and, uh, and immediate rotation. Uh, but for Winthrop as well, a very young team. So I guess it was a little hard to know what they were going to bring to the table tonight. But some of their, uh, some of their kids had career nights tonight uh, as they uh, showed a lot more than they have in this early season. That's correct. I think what happened is a lot of times when they would put the ball up and we, we had them do what we wanted them to do, but we didn't re um, capitalize off of the rebounds. We gave them too many putback shots that we should have had off of the boards, and we didn't do a great job on the boards. But, you know, we just have to keep at it mentally. We just have to get mentally tougher. I think once we can get mentally tougher and handle the situations out on the floor, that'll show a sign of maturity, then we'll be able to do the things that we really need to do. Jory Wachuku, kind of, we called it a quiet 19 points tonight, another double-double, but uh, b because she was double and triple teamed a lot of the night, she picked up a lot of contact and did a lot of the damage from the free throw line. But it's a, a testament to her toughness, I think, that she uh, continues to battle and, uh, and got it done from the free throw line. Yes, what, what happens is, and it comes from, you know, having strength. Uh, Jory is a very strong inside player. Um, she, can, she can handle her own on the inside, and she does what she needs to do at any given point. Even when they had triple teamed her, she was able to find the open player on our team and get the ball to that individual. But we just have to get everybody on the same page a little bit more. I think as a whole that we did, we did okay um, in some spurts of the game. We still haven't been able to put a full game um, together yet, and I'm sure that's going to come eventually as we continue to play. But, again, maturity makes a big difference, and we just didn't do some of the things that we should have done tonight. Well, one of the bright spots, of course, was that big comeback at the end of the first half where you erased a 10-point lead with about four minutes to go on the clock. And one of the keys there was Shanice Blanks uh, got open and made a couple of shots. You know, a couple of three-pointers go down for her, and the, and the final score is different. I know that doesn't change much of what you've talked about from a coach's perspective in terms of what you guys did defensively. But uh, a couple of breaks uh, here or there, and you could have been winners tonight for sure. Oh, yes, most definitely. We have to get our scores. Our scores have to kind of um, be able to score early in the ball game, and wasn't able to get that um, from her earlier. But she did do some things for us when it really, really counted. She got us back in the ball game, and in the second half she did some things for us. And I think it's, it's just a matter of we've got to work a little bit more with our bench. Um, we've got to get some more points from those coming off of the bench and taking time and rebounding and doing some things with them and getting them more confidence in what they're doing out on the floor mentally. If something happens, they kind of drop their heads. You can tell in the body languages that they have to forget that and go on and make the next play. Uh, we dwell on what happened at that previous moment, and we can't continue to do that. We have to move on and continue to just continue to play. So as games go on, I think we'll, we'll finally get there. Well, just speaking, speaking of moving on, uh, on Saturday, you uh, go into the MEAC schedule against uh, South Carolina State. It's a doubleheader. It'll be right here on uh, 1410 WRJD. Of course, Chris Hooks is going to have all that action for the men's and the women's. But quick preview for that. I know as you finish the transition into Division I and you uh, go into the MEAC, uh, this has got to be an important first step. Oh, yes, definitely. We're playing our first conference game, even though we can't play for our um, championship and things of that nature. But we have an opportunity to play a full MEAC schedule, so we're having our first opponent again down with South Carolina State. We split with them last season. They have all of their returners back. And, well, excuse me, have all but one of their returners back. So we're going to be playing up against some, some experienced players. But if we can just continue to dig down and continue to work hard and continue to um, get our defense like we wanted to get it, um, it should be a good, exciting game for us. Well, uh, Coach, uh, thank you very much for joining us here in the Eagles postgame report. Uh, a tough loss tonight, but a lot to build on as you uh, look out towards the rest of the season. Thank you, and I'd like to thank our fans for coming out tonight to support us. We had a nice crowd in here tonight.